design. Now after we have this design, a color separation will be drawn on stencil, which is this. Okay? So this is called our color separation. Now this is what which has been used to transfer this design onto frame. So for each color, we did one of these. Now after all our separations have been completed, we would have a wooden frame with a tightly stretched synthetic silk mesh, which the dye penetrates. Now this is why it's called silk screen printing. Now this hair will be taken to a dark room where it's going to be coated with a light sensitive photographic emulsion. It's a liquid plasma when dry is crystals plastic. So this entire screen would be blocked out using this photosensitive emulsion. Now after this emulsion has dried on the screen, it will then be placed over the stencil on a light table in the dark room for three minutes. So this air would be exposed to UV light, ultraviolet light, for three minutes. Now this drawing on the stencil emerges in the screen and this would be flushed out using water, leaving us only with this image open in the screen. So it's like taking a negative and making a positive. Okay? Now after all our screens have been completed, we would have our table set up with nails. Now those nails and also this guardrail is used as our registration, our guide to the spirits. And this fabric which you print on, which is cotton linen. But this is more for the household items. Okay? Now this design I'm printing presently is called Poinsettia Blossom, which is just one of our many designs. Okay? Now this here is a seven color process. So in this case, a different screen will be used for each color. Okay? So the more colors we have, the more screens will be made. But we go up to 13 colors. Okay? So right now, I'm printing the sixth color of this process, which is the red. Okay? We have our screen. As you can see, the image through. Open parts of the screen. Okay? Place on the table. Like I said, against the nail, so that everything falls in line. We have our ink, which is a water-based organic dye. It's a natural based dye for silk screen printing. And this will be printed using a rubber squeegee, which forces the dye through the screen to the fabric. Okay? So we hold onto the frame firmly. We go back and forth to the screen. The luminous. We do the design. Okay, so the dye only penetrates in the open parts. This on the table. Yeah. Like I said, we take the nail, we go back and forth. And also, the same process would be repeated for each color. With the nest, with the design. Okay. Now, this uh, then takes between 5 to 15 minutes to dry. But it depends on the weather. If it's kind of humid, it takes a longer drying time. After which, we look at the last color which is the yellow. Okay. Now after this whole process is finished, this fabric will be run through a curing machine, a heat machine, at 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which fixes those colors to the fabric, which makes it color faster, or I would say washable, and will be sent to different seamstresses, where it's going to be cut in individual prints, where it's sold into place bags, runners, 